One of the questions I get asked a lot, especially when a child falls down, is, is my child broken? Do I really have to come see you? What do I look for? Well, interestingly enough, there are a few clues that you can go by. And one of them, interestingly enough, when it comes to the upper extremities or arms, is are they right-handed or left-handed? As it turns out, 73% of kids break the non-dominant side. So if the kid falls down and they're holding their dominant side or their arm they throw with or right with, the chance of being a fracture is much less than if it's, the, if it's the other side. So that's one of the questions that I always ask back to the parents. Another interesting little tidbit is that when it comes to the wrist, and kids fall down all the time and hurt themselves, is I have parents see, can they move the wrist in terms of up or down, or can they move the wrist uh, up or around, twisting or rotation? If it hurts to rotate, typically it's a fracture. If it hurts to go up and down, typically it's a sprain. And those are little clues we can use or when do we go, need to go see the doctor.